Alright guys, how's it going? It's Gaz here for MUFC Daily on Full Time Devils, bringing you all the latest Manchester United news and fan community news. So today we have to start with Ashley Young. He's been getting some abuse on Twitter and social media because of the apparent dive that he did take against CSKA Moscow the other night. Now from where I was sat in the ground I can't really see if it's a dive or not but supposedly it was a pretty bad one. So the abuse he's been getting on Twitter has been from United fans as well which is sad to see. Personally I don't think it's too bad. I think he's fixed that side of his game. It's been a long time since his last dive. The one against CSKA was just probably him giving in to temptation. That simple and I think he deserves praise, to be honest, for fixing that side of his game. I think Van Gaal said, said something to him, and he has sorted it out, because he's not dived in an awfully long time. Now, I know that diving's not good enough, and if you do it at all, you shouldn't do it ever. Um, but he's reduced it, so I think that deserves some praise. There are players week in, week out, throughout the world who dive. I mean, like, one player will dive every single week, genuinely, across the European leagues. They don't get singled out for abuse. And a Herrera dived in the Crystal Palace game. Don't see any United fans giving him abuse for that. So I feel like it's wrong to throw abuse at Ashley Young just because, I don't know, because he had a reputation, a reputation that I don't really think that he holds anymore. And if you think that he does, you've obviously not watched United that much over the past year. But anyway, yeah, Roy Keane has also come out and said, listen to this, you'll love this. Roy Keane has come out and said that Ashley Young is a disgrace for his dive. Roy Keane obviously forgetting that time that he got sent off for Manchester United for diving. I think it was against Aston Villa, I can't really remember. But um, yeah, he got sent off for a dive. So Roy Keane obviously just thinking, it's been a while since anyone's spoken about me. Let's say something controversial. That is that is literally what Roy Keane's legendary status has been reduced to. The man is nothing but a clown. Of course I'll never say that to his face because he'll turn up in my garden and probably kill my whole family. But... That's my opinion on Roy Keane. I just think he's become a rent a mouth. Dead simple. Just a gob on a stick. That's what I think he is. A bit like me. Um, anyway, moving on from Ashley Young and Roy Keane, uh, let's talk about Andy Cole. Andy Cole revealed yesterday that he did suffer a kidney failure. Luckily, well not luckily, he's obviously put a lot of hard work into B at this point. Um, but he is on the road to recovery. Um, so that's absolutely fantastic that he's, that he's coming back to full health so best of wishes to Andy Cole I'm sure you guys will want to put your comments in below and before I go as well I've got to mention that on the Man United Twitter account they tweeted uh, their best wishes to Ash, uh, to Andy Cole um, and one of my favourite replies to it was from Mikel Silvestre who literally just said as always mate you'll beat your opponent I agree best wishes to Andy Cole from us at Full Time Devils and get your comments in below I'm sure you want to send it as well anyway guys give this video a like give it a share uh, do whatever you want, get some comments in, tell me you disagree with me about Ashley Young, tell me you agree with me about Ashley Young, not bothered. Um, anyway guys, I've been Gaz, MUFC Daily on Full Time Devils, see you in a bit. Hi guys, good morning, welcome to Full Time Devils, I'm Adam McCall and this is MUFC Daily, it's Wednesday, Manchester United beat CSK Moscow 